Want to know the difference between the iMovie and Luma Fusion? In this video, I'm going to share with you the difference. Let's go! First up, one track versus multiple tracks. With iMovie, it is a one track, but you can overlay some kind of B-roll on top of it, but that's a how, that's, that's where it ends. You can't do three tracks, for, for example. So with Luma Fusion, you have actually have six tracks, video tracks, and up, up to 12 audio tracks. So there's more options for there for you to play with. Now with iMovie, it's good for simple edits, okay? You can't do much as a pro editor, you need more multiple tracks, at least three, okay? To do some kind of, any kind of pro level editing, you need at least three. But with iMovie, no, there's not much choice there, is it? The second thing I want to talk about is the edit experience. iMovie is good for when you do build up your timeline. So basically, you drop in your, your, your clip and you color that from there, okay? So drop in, drop in, drop in, drop in, and you build up your timeline over time. But Luma Fusion, you, do, you can do like few, few, few ways, okay? You can build up your timeline, similar to iMovie, but you also can edit on the track itself. So basically you do the cutting on the timeline. So it give you more, many more options to, for you to play with. Luma Fusion is based on a touch base, okay? So it was designed to do a touch base. So you can edit on your iPad, your, your phone, very easily. Designed to edit on the go. But iMovie is not optimized for touch space. You can use the, the mouse right now to do a simple edit, but that's, it's, that's where it ends, okay? The experience is not the same. A touch base and a click base editing software is totally different. Once you use your finger to do all your editing, you will never go back to a mouse based editing ever. That's from my experience anyway. The next thing is video setting. Nowadays, the vertical Okay, vertical video is very popular. How would you change from a horizontal to a vertical? Can you change the settings easily? No. With iMovie, there is, once you have your clip, that's it. That's that what you have to play with. But in Lumo Fusion, you can go from 1080p, 4K, to, to whatever settings you would like to do. There's more video editing option. So you want to go to from, from horizontal to vertical, you can change easily, easily. Audio editing is part of video editing. Now with Luma Fusion, you have more options, okay? There's EQ, graphic equalizer, built into Luma Fusion. So when you do some kind of vocal like this, right? Talking hit like this, you can make your, your, your audio, your sounds, your vocal sounds a little bit better than it actually is. Now with iMovie, that's it. There's not much you can do. Whatever you capture is that it. Okay, you have to play with that. But with Luma Fusion, there's an EQ. Now, if you are a more advanced kind of editor, you can also bring in other apps, other audio plugins for you to play with. And Luma Fusion allows you to, to do that. However, iMovie has built-in effects. Okay, it's free to use. Okay, if it's there, it's free for you to use. Apple has licensed that for you already. It is free for you to use. Okay, for your editors, you are free to use the sound effects. They have around like 40, 60 something sound effects, so you can play with. So that's really helpful uh, for you to try it out. And also, you can bring it into Luma Fusion, no problem. Have a recorder, recorder, bring it in, no problem. Shh, don't tell anyone. With Luma Fusion, there's also story block built into it. So any clip, any sound effects, any music, it's not a great library, but still a library. So if you need some kind of any clip for your edit, you can bring it into Luma Fusion. It's built in, you can have a, you can search for a clip that you want in Luma Fusion itself, so you don't have to go outside the app. Then you, if you like, you can pay for it. It's not a big amount, okay? It's a, I think it's like, $15 per month to have a subscription base. So you have always have that clip, audio, music available to you whenever you want to choose it. But that is for more for a pro level editor. If you edit a lot of, lot of videos, then it's advisable for you to have that option. But for most of us, we don't need it. So keep that in mind. But if you want to go into more pro level, there's options for you there. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the price. iMovie is free. Yeah, it's free. Okay. However, Luma Fusion does not cost you an arm and a leg. Thirty dollars for a lifetime, and you can have over ten different devices. Okay, ten different devices. Now, with, with the similar with one Apple 
iTunes account. Compared to other video editing software, pro level video editing software, you have a bang for your box, my friend. Bang for your box. Now, if you ask me, $30 compared to 10 times the cost of other video editing software like Final Cut Pro, DaVinci, and Premiere Pro. That's the three main popular video editing software right now. Luma Fusion can do 80 to 90% of those kind of software. So $30 compared to 10 times that price, which is free. But free, you know the difference, right? Want to know which iPad to get for Luma Fusion? Check this video out right here. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.